Huh. Hey, the guy really didn't show up again. The guy before the game starts. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. All right. We probably still have a few things we can do today. Is there something we can do here? I did see that some of you left some suggestions for me in the comments for stuff to do, so let me take a look here. Is there something with desk 434? Which one's 434? Or... Oh, it's this one. Okay. Wait, let me go get the bucket first. My beloved bucket. It takes a lot of humility to carry a bucket so magnificent. Stanley checked his ego and then proceeded onward. <laughs> I'm humbled every time I pick it up because it's so nice. Okay, so can I... Can I climb onto this desk? Is that... Oh. Oh, that's possible. Ah. Oh. Yes. Whispered the bucket into Stanley's ear. We've done it. We've escaped from that dull office and that pesky narrator. We did At last, it. Out here in the white void, we are alone. Now, and for the first time, I can reveal to you my true self. The bucket began to tell Stanley of its life and its history, of the countless wars it witnessed, desecrating the land and lives of untold numbers of innocent humans, and the bucket's own complicity therein, of sadness and regret, and the many years it spent dwelling on the actions it might have taken to curb the madness and the decay, if only it had been stronger, of hope <laughs> and redemption, and its crusade to uplift the stock of life for the common man, to manifest justice where none existed, and the bittersweet reality of time to see one's dreams and wishes met halfway, meted out in parcels like charity, and abandoned as soon as the warm glow of inspiration begins to dim. The opportunities to do so much more. There was so much it could have done, perhaps, the bucket wondered to itself, perhaps if it had seen its own darkness with a clearer perception. This was way too much for Stanley. What are you talking about? He screamed. You're a bucket! To this, the bucket furrowed I screamed? Brow. No, said the bucket. <laughs> Not since the evil wizard Gambhorata first ensnared <gasps> me in his machinations as payback for the sacred amulet I stole from his treasured vaults. I was young back then and could not conceive the ramifications of... No! Stanley screamed even louder this time. This is stupid! You are a bucket! This is so stupid! Why are we even doing this? As Stanley screamed and screamed and screamed, the bucket revealed its true form, transforming into a mighty beast of untold power, its fangs glistening like... <gasps> My God! Stanley! Oh! You did it! You saved us from the bucket. Thank God you already had all 12 emblems of sages and knew the incantations to summon their true power. Otherwise, we would have easily been overwhelmed by the bucket's power. I'm speechless. You've demonstrated such bravery here today. Come, let's restart the game and we'll agree to never again go trifling with this bucket, nor the dark magic cast away inside of it. That was kind of a heavy one to start off with. Mm. The name they mentioned there as the, the main bad guy, Gambarata, that was the one that the narrator mentioned in the tape too. Oh, maybe maybe these are linked somehow. Oh my goodness. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. So I guess no we could have done that without looked, the bucket, which was probably available in the original game, but I don't remember seeing... I don't remember what it had, so I, I don't mind doing it right here since it's right at the beginning, but... <sighs> I don't know how to feel about that one, though. I... <laughs> we were friends. We were lovers. And towards the end there, what even were we? At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. <laughs> he then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. 
So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? OK, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Uh... No, it's nice and peaceful here. No dead buckets. I prefer it like this. Ah, then in that case, we'll continue. But now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? You wouldn't do have stopped. Do you think it would have been particularly different? Would I have taken the same idea but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? <laughs> Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, now think about it. Will it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? Clearly, this whole gag takes some time. What if the other option is even longer? How long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, I feel attacked yet again. This is... I think this every time I make a choice in any video game, basically. And I'm sure many of us are the same way. And this is Rich. Perhaps you've just played the other option. And now you've come to see what happens in this one. <laughs> Screw so, you! what do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. Though if the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Well now, I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here, continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. Really? Ah, oh, now that you said that I have to. No, 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 no. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Oh. I don't think I can choose again. <gasps> Do I really just have to restart the game then? Are you serious? Like I gotta close the whole game and then do it again? Well... Okay. Okay. Begin the game again. Ah, I forgot to change my... my time settings to get that stupid achievement. All of his co-workers were gone. <laughs> we gotta do it! What could it mean? We gotta do Stanley it! Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. See, this is tricky because it looks like, physically, it looks like you can't even walk over it, but for some reason it works. God damn it. Okay, just... At first, Stanley assumed he'd <laughs> broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. I'm not skipping. You're staying he here with me. The game for its We're just going to sit here and sit through this whole thing again. ...video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, but this is the kind of thing think? that makes Isn't me really appreciate when, you know, like, um, when games have dialogue trees and they clearly mark which one advances okay, the I'm conversation. What do you like, for you example, I'm playing Horizon right now and it says very clearly which one is the, um, it's, it's got this little diamond next to the correct one. Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time you want. Like, right now. You could have done it just then. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. Any of these points and so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. Because you keep so, talking! Just to push the envelope, I'm going to try and make this as miserable <laughs> as possible and see how long you can maintain. You jerk! Oh my god. There once was a man named Stanley, who people considered so manly. But the truth must be told, he was not very old and was quite particularly gangly. What Stanley liked most was buttons. He pushed them like some kind of glutton. He did it all day in a meaningful way. But his brain had long ceased to function. Excuse me. Which is why he is in this parable and lives an existence quite terrible. And if you are not strong and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. Yes. You too will become quite unbearable.
These are rookie numbers, narrator. I've heard you talk much longer in the other ending. Of course, this is probably one of the older endings, so I, I guess back then this was one of the longer strings of text. But not in the skip button section, the, the memory zone section. That part was a lot longer. Okay, all right then. If we want to see some new stuff, we probably All have to give up our beloved gone. bucket for a what little bit. Stanley and I can think of one place. The meeting room. Or maybe Perhaps even two places. Mr. Memo. Oh, farewell, my beloved. Hey! Am I supposed to... Oh, I have to click stuff around here like five... Stanley Shoot! Stanley the bucket in a gentle <laughs> embrace. Protective, yet delicate. Assertive, yet compassionate. Do I have to find five different things around here to press? I... I don't know, there's vague memories coming back to me, but I don't know what five things I should be pressing anyway. And I accidentally picked up the bucket, so I guess we're gonna continue on. Let's see, I'm pretty sure there's still new stuff even with the bucket. But remember that one room that had a no bucket allowed sign? The bucket, we probably should go there without the bucket. And entered the door on his left. So what we can do in this one, let's see. Somebody said I can try to bring my bucket, go to the boss's office, but before the door closes, step out. So let's try and see if we can do that today. Coming to a staircase, Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. We're still looking for the last collectible here, but we'll find it in due time. Okay, okay, ready? Ready? How do you... Stepping... N narrator? Oh god, no, I, this is scary. I don't... I'm scared again. Oh no, it's the whole, like, the line between comedy and horror. Hello? Oh god, oh god. <sighs> In any other game, when a voice line glitches out like that, you might even assume that it's um, a bug because it didn't account for the player doing something so unorthodox. Oh, okay. You want me to go back down then? This is okay. Oh, okay. He always keeps me company, that this feels really... Hey, this door was closed before. Yeah, just like all the other doors, when you go through and he starts talking, they close it. Narrator? That, that scared me for a second. <laughs> um... Yeah, all these doors are open again, except for... Well, there's no clicky sound. Holy crap. If you made me play this 10 years ago, I would have been like... I would be really scared right about now. I am scared right now, but i not so scared that I don't want to keep playing, but like, this is freaking me out. This is... Oh, there's some strange shenanigans going on here. Look, it's a place that we climbed out of earlier, but this time it's not... It's not a thing anymore. Can you please talk? Oh god, this is scary. That was a red door. What? Oh no. Don't want to alarm you. 
but it's looking like we're in a loop. Now, this number is changing. This number isn't. Like, those numbers are the same. Seven fifty six. Seven fifty seven. Okay, you know what I said earlier about being scared of this? If this was ten years ago, this is ten years ago. I I'm scared again. <laughs> I know it's not gonna happen, but what if some jump scare thing like pops up in the window or something? <laughs> I gotta keep talking. One way that I don't get scared is if I just keep talking and make some noise. I don't want to hear... Oh? Okay. Oh, 760. Oh, they mentioned earlier that this was... Entering the escape pod will initiate a relay... Response? Triggered? Something cannot be disabled or paused? Something sent... Be present in order. Oh, yeah, yeah. <sighs> okay. Uh, I can. Am I walking? I hear sounds, but I, I obviously can't see anything. Oh. Bucky? Shh, don't say anything. Don't cry. Don't cry because it's over. Smile because it happened. We'll see each other again, okay? It's not the end! <gasps> oh. I feel kind of like a protagonist in a... a universe with multiple parallel timelines. What could it mean? And in some Stanley timelines... decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps oh! he had simply missed a memo. What? You're really gone? I was just gonna say, in some timelines, Bucky and I are lovers. In some, just co-workers. And in others, maybe even enemies. But... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Wait, I lost the bucket! Well, what do I do now? No, okay, well, I was thinking of going without the bucket anyway, but I just lost it. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley <gasps> knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted Bucky? to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wait, there was no sound, like the narrator <sighs> yes, didn't talk at all. truly a room worth admiring, but <laughs> either to go back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Give him back to me! What did you do to Bucky? Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Yeah, I think this area is completely new, right? The one inside the vent here? And last time we came here with Bucky. Actually, kind of wonder if I fall from here, will I die? It kind of looks like I might not. Yeah, but... Stanley had now gotten himself so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path what? that it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path uh, this is the tape that it one the office had begun from so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun from so far off the beaten path You didn't think I was actually just a recording, did you? What a silly and trite oh. explanation that would be. All the back and forth between you and me, all the absurd adventures we've been through, and it all turns out I'm just a tape recording? It was all just in Stanley's head. 
I bet that's the kind of twist you think is revelatory. I bet each and every time you watch a movie where it turns out all to be in the main character's imagination, you must absolutely bolt off the couch in pure shock at the phenomenal and intricate storytelling. It must be so simple to be you. Hey! Life being an unending waterfall of surprises and delights. How much more exciting you must find the world than the rest of us do. That's a good thing. <sighs> Now I've become sad. Look what you've done to me. This is all your fault. I think that's a good thing, though. Because inherently, the more media you consume, the more tropes you'll end up seeing. And the more tropes you see, the easier you'll get bored by seeing the same things again and again. So, if you get surprised every time there's a plot twist, that's a good thing. Oh, I missed this last time too, didn't I? That's why there wasn't any talking. Is it this phone? We are confirming your shipment of 1,327 cardboard boxes to your place of work. Oh Can God! You that this is correct. Yes. Excellent. Your order will arrive shortly. Thank you again for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. Future Happiness Foundation sells cardboard boxes. Oh, uh, should I be expecting? Oh. Oh. You don't know how good I feel seeing you again, Bucky. But it's it's got some stickers, but is it? It's not the same one. It's not the same one. I don't like you anymore. Give me give me back the original Bucky. No, but uh, the one when place came to a set of two with the novels, sign that said no buckets to allowed beyond. And Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Don't wow. worry, I'll be there. Yes, this room. What a beautiful room. Is this what different from gorgeous, earlier? Gorgeous room. Thank goodness Stanley had taken this detour on his way to the meeting room. Life without having experienced this room was now too horrible even to consider. It's a cozy room. It's a cozy room. The carpeting makes it feel like... Yes. Home. Really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Really worth it. It's a fine room, okay? There's there's a coffee maker here, there's some cups. I'm set for days. At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected <laughs> poorly on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Wow. You're just burning me left and right, aren't you? Stanley sat around waiting for more dialogue. <laughs> but when a long time had passed and there was no more, he decided that the game was trying to send him a message. Speaking of which, earlier in the... when we jumped out the window without the bucket, that might have been one of the only times where the narrator directly says, Stanley says, no! Or something like that, right? Because otherwise, he normally just narrates my movements and stuff. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room and took the first open door on his left to get back to business. Okay, that one... Stanley was so bad at following room? directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years was ago. Was that one? Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. I'm the main There's character. someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you- What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Look, it's just bad game design to expect someone to stand still in one spot to listen to you talk, okay? So that wasn't... no hard feelings. It's just that I was trying to move forward. You know, in the physical in the physical space here while you were talking, getting two things done at the same time. That's all. I don't hate you. <laughs> what I said about Bucky being, you know, us being lovers in some timelines, enemies in others, that also applies with the narrator. This door, no buckets past this point.
Oh. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Ah, red and blue. And there it is, the last Stiggly Wiggly. Savor this moment, Stanley. This is a real accomplishment. This is doing something just for the <laughs> sake of doing it. Where so many people expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements, you've insisted that a job well done is its own reward. I would tell you that I'm proud of you for collecting them all, but that would be like a reward, and we can't have that. So, instead I'll just say, it's done. We're all done here, and now we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. This is actually something that, I guess, if we're talking about... Because, mm, you know, I guess a lot of us started playing games when we were younger, right? But the older I get, and I feel like it's also because of having to play games for channel as opposed to playing just for fun and without recording or expectations of people watching the content that gets produced out of playing the game and all that. But the older I get, the more I treasure short games. Games that can still tell you the exactly what they want to tell you, but it doesn't take 100 hours. 100 hour games are fun, but... I feel like oftentimes beyond the 50th hour, it's just extra content that you want to, that's there for people who want to spend more time in the world, right? But it doesn't actually change your rating or opinion of the game. Yeah, it's just, I don't know, the older you get, time becomes more precious, right? Okay, I'll listen to you. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The really? problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? This is a loop. I just... I wanted to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just stopped. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. Gonna kill me. Hmm. What do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm. Is that outer space? Oh. Here. Yeah. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment, with this place, Stanley. I think I feel happy. I actually feel happy. <laughs> oh, but can I? What if I? Oh, I can't. I can't walk off. I mean, this is pretty, but not enough to excite me for the. Fi Ooh. Oh. Hey, did we have this one before? This is. This is old, right? I think it's old. I remember something looking like this being one of my old thumbnails. Ooh, ooh. No, wait. Where are you going? Uh, no, 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 nowhere, nowhere. Right. Where were we? Green dots. Oh my God. Whoa, there's pipes. What's with the walls? It's not chaotic enough to trigger my trypophobia, but I don't like seeing it. Oh no! Stay away from those stairs! If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset! We'll lose all of this! I remember this. I remember this, like, scene. It's weird. You can forget, like, 90% of the game, but suddenly one thing you see will trigger all your memories going back. Maybe not all of it, but I vaguely remember seeing this part before. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. Dad. Dad. Please, Stanley, think about what you're doing. You're not the boss of me. I'm... I'm my own person. And you can't... You can't just try to protect me all the time, okay? I gotta... There are certain things I just gotta do. I'm sorry, Dad. No! Oh, thank God you lived... You had me worried there for a- No. No, no, what are you doing, <laughs> Stanley? Please, I'm asking you not to take this away from me. I can't go back to what I was before. If you die, we'll both go back. Why are you doing this? I mean, I could go back in a less painful way. 
but no, no. Hey, so now that we... Okay, I was expecting a reward for collecting all the collectibles, but that's not... That doesn't happen, right? Ooh! Stanley, let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? Ooh, I'm walking slower. I'm limping a little bit. Yes, perhaps you can. Perhaps you finally see what I'm talking about. I don't like red. I don't like red. Give me some other colors. I know you'll see. You'll see that we can't be happy if we leave this place. You can see that, can't you? But I need to see more. Do you understand? I need to no, see more. perhaps not. He's losing hope. How frustrating it must be to be the narrator. You can say things to try my to persuade. God. Is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You were literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Hey, you Am can't- I reading the situation correctly? Absolutely not. You're, you're being manipulative. You're acting like a psycho ex boyfriend or girlfriend, okay? If you if you don't do this, I can't be happy. I'll kill myself. No, come on. It's just nothing against you. Well, maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. You think I forgot about the time you tried to crush me and Bucky? You can't separate us. We are bonded through uh, the threads of destiny or some anime trope. Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. Oh, maybe ever since Bucky came along, I've been ignoring the narrator a little bit too much. He seems quite lonely and Oh Stanley, I'm sorry, but I have to put a pause on things. It's just it's those figurines. Those figlers. I haven't what? stopped thinking about them since you nabbed every last one. Wasn't it just the most intrinsically fulfilling moment of your entire life? Yeah. Didn't it fill you to the brim with inner richness? Yes, I know we're supposed to be telling a story, but won't you please indulge me with one more trip back to the memory zone? I would love nothing more than to revisit the figurines. Just one more time. I guess we do get a reward after all. Now remembering when Stanley found the collectibles. It's a pretty place. Are you gonna add some new stuff here then? We made new memories together. I hear birds, but I see no birds. Oh. Twenty thirteen, the year the game came out. That's what that was. It's still the the bathtub by Stanley Parable. <gasps> ah, here's where it all began. The first collectible. Back then, we had no idea of how many of them we'd find. Sure, it said six right there on the screen, but how could we know for certain? We still don't know. so innocent. We'll never be like that again, Stanley. They could put more to make it easier for you to get six, but some people are still going to want to get the seven or the eighth, <laughs> just because it exists. Which is like, you know, how some games, they give you a completion percentage, but 100 is not even the highest percentage, which is like, What's the point? Do you know how percentages work, game? 100 is the last thing. But no, so many games go over 100%. So this is the seventh one then. I love this view. I love this. Those are creepy. Oh 
God damn it. Seven out of six. For some reason, I'm not as scared here, even though there's not too much talking. Maybe because... Why? Why? Let's, let's try to think. Is it because the colors are warmer and the, the building that we're in is wood? Not like the scary concrete? A generic office building? Oh. And here was a second Stan Lorene. You found this one all on your own, just by poking around in the boss's bathroom. You did that, Stanley. I'll be honest. Back then, I had no faith in you to find any of them, let alone six. But you continue to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable ways. Thank you. Oh, we're gonna get 12, aren't we? <gasps> okay, let's do a little quiz. Which of these rooms was the room you found your third mini stand? Can you remember? It was this one. The one in the warehouse. Oh my god, okay. Hey, that's exactly right. It was here in the warehouse. It was the third one. You picked it up, and then after that, you had three of them. I'm glad these moments are so crystal clear in your memory, but I shouldn't be surprised. After all, science tells us that it's impossible to forget your third time doing anything. Really? <laughs> Sounds like some bullcrap pseudoscience. Something about forming habits, you do it a few times and it's a habit. Let's see, what came next? Oh yes, we found a figly in this pink room. Oh well, I can't actually say I remember being in this room, but it's here in the memory zone, so it must have happened. Uh, yeah, yeah, we were, we were in this pink room with an apple and the sound and yeah. I mean, it's a very pretty sound. Oh. Mm-hmm. We found one here. This was the fifth mini stand, and this one was really something special. It was. It was behind the boss's office. I remember it so clearly. In fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate the occasion. Enjoy. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, do people... Uh, people below, I don't know, 18 might not know what this is. This is like the default Windows Movie Maker effects. Wait, Windows Movie Maker doesn't even come with Windows anymore, right? Oh my god, that blue background. But you can still see it on some older YouTube videos. Like the ones uploaded years ago. 2006 or something. Oh my god. Hey, great job. I love the effects. <laughs> ah, takes you back, doesn't it? I spent a lot of time making that video, but it was eight minutes I wouldn't have spent on anything else. Wait, the last time I remember using Windows Movie Maker, I never did it for anything on the channel, but probably... Like, sometime around 20, 2009? 2010-ish? Yeah? Man. And this one was extra special because I <laughs> I did see an editing that I, I somehow just walked over here, looked at it, and then I just it just didn't register in my head, and I just went in the elevator the first time I saw it. <gasps> I don't know what was happening there. The last one. Last but not least. And then, Stanley, then we came to the last collectible, the final figurine, right here by the red and blue doors. This memory is the most distinct and clear in my mind, perhaps because it was the one that happened more recently than all the others. Who can truly say how the mind works? All I know is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly and I thought to myself, yes, that's all of them. They're all collected. It was a moment unlike any other. Except for the other moments picking up figurines, which it was exactly <laughs> like. The fourth one wasn't the right memory, though. What was happening there? That was the only one that we didn't really get to retrace properly. 
Yeah, it all goes to the same place. What is this? Oh, we're back to the warm... Oh my god, what the hell? Look at the TV. And then there was no more. Because we've caught up to the present moment. Nothing left to do but move onward into the future. Goodbye, Memory Zone. Oh. Um, uh, no, 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 I'm not done. I'm not ready to move on. Stop the loading screen. Oh. Isn't there some way we can stay here, <laughs> keep enjoying these figurines? Let's just go backwards. We'll do the Memory Zone again from the opposite direction. See how that feels. I love the TV. Uh, are you trying to keep me trapped in the past here, narrator? It's good to move okay, on. Okay, yes. The room with the red and blue doors. I remember this. I must say, of all the figurines we looked at in our initial tour of the memory zone, this one is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Let's keep going. I want more. Your wish is my command. You want that dopamine hit? There are strange sounds behind this curtain. You heard that, right? That was weird. And here's where I made that video. Don't you remember the video we watched? <laughs> Thank you. Yes, Thank you for reminding I love me. That video. I love it too. I love it too. Was that music from like some royalty free music site? Did Windows Movie Maker come with music? Still I don't think so. I remember the pink room, Stanley. Still no memory of this one. Good room though. A solid room. This room is weird. Hmm. I mean, I like the aesthetics of the memory zone, so I don't really mind too much. These really were a treat to hunt down. You know, if there had been any kind of reward for finding all of these, it really would have neutered the intrinsic joy of collecting them. I'm very glad we resisted the temptation. Next one. Very glad you didn't offer me an entirely new ending, an entirely new route just for doing this. Because otherwise, I would have felt compelled to collect it, right? Oh, I'm so com- I want to jump down. <laughs> I almost want to jump down. Oh no, there's an invisible wall, dang it. <laughs> yeah, we've come too far now to do that. I've never been here. Under the stairs. Oh, it's blocked off now. Okay. Strange sounds again. Sounds like an aquarium. Like a water tank. This was our second figly. Don't you remember? Yes, I remember it too. The past is truly a wonderful thing. Why does anyone ever choose to leave it? Keep going. Well, if the past wasn't nice, then they wouldn't want to. But if the past was nice, then yeah, we'd want to... This is it. The very first one we found in the exhibit where I introduced you to the figlerines. Oh, I want more memories, Stanley. I want to keep going. What else is there? What came before this? 18 out of 6. What was before this? You took me out of my normal route. Oh, we're back here. Oh, uh, not exactly what I was expecting. Yes, yes. Except, you know, it was nicer and... Did you forget? Did you forget the rest of... Wait, is this the jump? Oh. <gasps> Look, it's the terrible new content that we were originally sold on. I remember hating it back then, but time does put a rosy filter on everything. In fact, it does. I dare say I'm actually quite fond of it now. Look how much fun the past is. I want more. More memories. I have a good example of something that's horrible, but in hindsight, it's kind of like a good memory. <laughs> Life is strange again. The chapter two, the bottles. <laughs> Anyone who's played it when it first came out knows what I'm talking about. In, in Chapter 2 of Life is Strange, there is a scene where you have to collect five bottles around a junkyard. And there was one bottle that was really, really hidden. To the point that I think when it first came out, 
like people, a lot of people were complaining about not being able to find it, and then they patched it to make it easier. And then I think in the remastered version, they actually added an extra bottle to make it so that it's easier for you to get the five bottles because there's actually six. Which goes back to how we just talked about how they say there are six collectibles here, but actually there's seven or eight. And we have, we have 18 now. Oh yes, the two doors. Who could have forgotten that? A classic memory, this one. Oh. But that's it. And before everything else, there was your office. Is there anything else? Was there something that came before your office? Yes. There's something I feel I can remember. I can remember. I can remember. The text. The text person. Yes, I'm remembering something now. I remember before this whole story got started. Back then I was... I was different. I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. And then somewhere along the way, I stopped making decisions. I became lazy and I came up with, well, came up with a character named Stanley to do my thinking for me. What? He would make the decisions. He would decide which way to go. I would cheer him on as he collected figurines for no reason. Why did I invent Stanley? Was I lonely? Yes, perhaps that's it. Perhaps I needed to imagine I had companionship. And Stanley really did make for a wonderful companion, even if he was a fiction. But uh, I suppose it's grown old. I, I want to think for myself again. I want to go back to how it used to be. Yes, I can be on my own again. I can do it. No. I'll be stronger this time. I'll take care of myself. I don't need Stanley anymore. Oh, but he truly was so much fun to play with. You know what? Since we're in the memory zone, how about one more good memory? Let's go back just once and give Stanley one more run of the office and then I'll retire him for good. I did enjoy telling his story so very much. Okay, here we go. This is the story of a man named Stanley. <gasps> when does this ever... No, I know the answer to that. The end is never the end is never the end. I thought this might have been like commentary on the other ending we got about how... Oh, you must be the kind of person who gets surprised at every plot twist. You might just love knowing that people are imaginary. And now you're telling me that Stanley is imaginary? Don't do that to me. 